In this tutorial I will cover some basics of scene manager like loading next scene and restarting. I will leave the download link for this project in the description. So let's go right into tutorial. In this tutorial we are gonna be using two scenes from my previous tutorials and we want to make transitions between these scenes. So for example if this player gets here it will load the next scene. And first thing that we need to do is go to file, build settings and take our two scenes and drag them here. We need our scenes here for this to work. So now we can create an empty game object. Let's name it game manager. And it's a good practice to have this game manager object in every scene and it can control stuff like respawning the player, reloading the current level, loading the next level and stuff like that. Now let's create a C-sharp script, go to your game manager, click on add component and let's name our script game manager, click on new script and click on create and add. It will create a new file here in your assets and double click to open it. We will not need update and start function so we can delete them and we can delete these two components as well. We will need to be using unity engine dot scene management now let's create a public function and let's call it load next scene and if we go back in unity and file and build settings we can see these two numbers those are called build indexes and that's what we'll be using in our function so write scene manager dot load scene and scene we want to load we will access it through the build indexes scene manager dot get active scene dot build index and if we leave it like this this will be the current build index, the build index of our current scene, this scene. And we want to load next scene, so we'll say plus one. Now go back to Unity and we want to call this function when our player reaches this position. So let's create an empty game object and let's name it load next scene and we can drag it here and let's give it a collider box collider 2d and edit it and this collider will be our trigger so when our player gets here it will call this function check this box is trigger and now we can stop editing and we will create a new script. Let's call it next scene. And click on new script, create and add. Double click to open it. In here we won't need update function and start function, so we can delete them. We will need on trigger enter 2D. And we can also delete collider 2D collision because we won't need that. In this function we want to call the function from game manager load next scene and there are two ways we can do that we can reference game manager like this but there is much better way of doing that we will say find object of type and in here we will write game manager and now we say dot load next scene. Now if we save this and go back to Unity, press play, we can go to our trigger which is here at the end of the scene and it will load the next scene. This is the scene from my first tutorial on moving platforms. Now let's take this game manager and make it a prefab 
we do that by dragging it to our assets down here. Now we can implement it in our next scene as well. We open our next scene and take our game manager and drag it to hierarchy. And now we can use it in this scene as well. Let's now create a function that will restart the game. So we go to our game manager script and we will create another function public void restart and in here we wanna say scene manager dot load scene and now instead of using get active scene we will use scene by name and the name for our first scene is moving and you can check that simply by going to unity and go to scenes and the first scene is moving make sure you use the correct name here we will call that function if our player drops down from the platform so let's go to our movement 2d script and in here we will create public transform player and in our update function we want to check if player dot position dot y is less than minus 2 for example and if it is we can again find object of type game manager and restart so let's go back to unity and click on the player and oh my player is already at minus 2.2 so let's change that condition to minus 4 for example and now we can go back to unity and scroll down to the movement to the script and drag your player to this open slot and now if we click play we can fall down and when we reach y of minus 4 it will restart to this scene and we can do that all over again there is a lot more you can do with scene manager in unity but for this tutorial i just wanted to cover basic stuff like loading next scene and restarting the level and like I said at the beginning, I will leave a link to this project in the description so anyone can download and try this. I will make more basic tutorials like this, but also in the future I plan on doing some more advanced stuff in Unity, so subscribe to this channel, it will help me a lot. That's it for this video, see ya!